Hello everyone, welcome to today's lesson. Let us look at this question of assembling of spatial aptitude asked in the GATE 2022 examination. This question was asked in the mechanical engineering branch in the afternoon session that is set 2. Now this question per se is very simple, is very easy. Sometimes assembly questions can be a little tricky. All spatial aptitude questions can be a little tricky. But compared to those standards, this question as such is very simple, is very easy. So what makes it debatable? The fact that it is a MCQ question, that means you can have only one correct answer choice. Whereas if we go through the options, we can see that there is more than one option that is correct. Right. So, of course, the question on your mind is whether we should challenge this question or not because GATE gives us the facility to challenge questions in case we feel that the question is incorrect or the answer choices are wrong or the answer given by them is incorrect. So, GATE gives us this facility and uh, let's look at the question. Let's find out the correct answers or correct answer and then decide whether it can be, it should be challenged or not. So as I said, it's a very simple assembling question. Which one of the groups given below can be assembled to get the shape that is shown above using each piece only once without overlapping with each other and rotation translation operations may be used. So generally in questions of assembly, you can rotate and translate the figures, but you cannot scale them. That means you can't make a particular figure smaller or bigger. Right, but you can rotate them, you can translate them as well. So let's first try to get rid of the options that are obviously incorrect. So if you look at option number D, we've got three triangles and one rectangle, right? So three triangles and one rectangle will never give us this uh, particular uh, rocket shaped figure. So of course, this one gets cancelled right away. Even when we look at option number B, option number B, again has got three triangles and one rectangle but the most distinctive feature is that this particular triangle is really really long and as I said scaling is not allowed in questions of assembly. We don't have such a uh, long triangle in any of the uh, in this particular figure that has been given to us. So of course option number B is also incorrect. So by the simple method of eliminating the wrong choices B and D have been eliminated. So what we are left with are options A and C. Now the general approach for assembling questions should be that we number the parts that have been given to us and see that putting them together do we get the final figure or not right. So if I look at option number A and I name the parts as let's say 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 and I want to put them together and arrive at this particular figure this rocket shaped figure so let's say if I put one triangle here this is triangle number one then I have this rectangle that is five and then I can have three triangles in this manner right so this could be two this could be three and this could be four and I arrive at the figure that has been given to us right I arrive at the figure that has been given to us so of course option number A is correct right as I said very simple assembling question and you can just put all the figures together and arrive at the final figure but let us now look at option number C this is where everyone is having a doubt right can I assemble all the parts of option C and arrive at my final figure that's what we want to find out so let's name the parts this is one two three and four so of course one and two is pretty simple at least the first half of the figure we have managed to get first half of the figure we have managed to get and now i'm left with three and four if i join three and four will i get a figure like this that is the question if i join three and four will i be getting a figure like that so let's see if I put three here this is the triangle and then this is four so this gives three this is four and that also gives me the final figure or that also gives me the question figure as such so both the options both options a and option c are correct 
right so even though this is a mcq question we have two options that are correct that are uh, the correct answer choices if we assemble the parts given in both the options we will be arriving at the question figure right so is the question incorrectly framed yes should it be challenged yes but will the challenge be accepted by iit or not that nobody can confirm that nobody can say for sure because over the past few years also there are some obviously wrong questions asked in gate by iits they are challenged by students but iit in some cases they accept the challenge in some cases they do not accept the challenge so we cannot say for sure that yes you will be awarded marks for this yes the challenge will be accepted now what can be their point of view their point of view can be that we do not know the inclination or we do not know how slant this parallelogram is if the parallelogram is more slant then we will not get this particular figure so that's one reasoning that iit can use to not accept the challenge but yes as far as the question is concerned it is incorrectly framed you do have more than one answer choice as the correct one and it should be challenged but whether the challenge will be accepted or not nobody knows for sure nobody can tell for sure many students were having doubt with this question i hope you found this video helpful i wish you all the best